All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of In The Scope, and today we are going to take a look at anime, and more specifically, we are going to take a look at Demon Slayer, who I just started watching recently, and it is, I have to say, it's a pretty good anime. I'm really enjoying it so far. So, around the table today, I don't. I have the unusual crew. I have Brandon and Corey, who haven't been on before, so this is their first time, and it's it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be good. All right. So um, first, let me just say. So Brandon, Hello. oh, hi. you want you want to say hi, Corey? I would like to say hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right. So Brandon, just so everyone knows, designed the album art and logo for In the Scope, and he does a lot of other anime drawings, and he's actually really really good at it. So why don't you tell them where they can find your work at in case they want you you sell a lot of stuff and. You do custom work for people, so tell them where they can find that stuff. Right. Um, mostly TikTok is where you can get to all of my other stuff, but I do have a Twitter and Instagram account, all Phantom Arts 122 and that's normally where I'm doing stuff. Commissions are always open pretty much, so yeah. And I have to say he's reasonably priced, and he does pretty good work, so if you're looking for some custom artwork or some anime and more specifically, definitely go check him out and see what he has to offer and hit him up and see what, uh, see what he can do for you guys. So today we have Demon Slayer and Demon Slayer is the 2021. It won the jet, the Japan Academy prize for animation of the year, outstanding achievement in music, most popular film for the train movie and the highest gross grossing Asian film in 2021. So it's gotten a lot of awards and, like I said, it's a pretty good anime. I'm pretty new to anime in general. I think Brandon and Corey have a lot more experience, but it turns out to be pretty good. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. So first things first, what do you guys think is the single, like, what do you like about this particular anime, Demon Slayer? Like, the, if that you makes can name it stick thing, out more to me. Yeah. Like the one thing. The art style. Be more specific. Well, in a lot of anime that I've watched, um... <clears throat> there are a lot of uh, anime like Naruto, which is one of my favorite anime, by the way. Please don't attack me. <laughs> um, but it's that the art style in Demon Slayer differs from a lot of other anime so far by the um, heavy blocks, like the black lining around the characters would normally be something on like an actual page. But uh, they actually found a way to like have that in an actual anime style, keep it moving, and it looks really good. I like the vibrancy of the colors as well. So for you, it's that they pretty much brought like the manga style to live action. Yeah. Cool, cool. And what about you, Corey? So for me, I was definitely going to say the animation and the music. Like whenever Tanjo is using his water breathing, just like... How they drew that just looks so amazing, especially comparing it to animes like Naruto. Like, don't get, Naruto is my favorite anime, just to clarify. But, like, any water style user, like, it looks basically how you would expect it to look in an anime. But then, like, Demon Slayers is just so intense. It's just it's, one of my, it's definitely my favorite animation I've ever seen. And speaking of Naruto, which came up a lot, so this weekend we're going to hopefully get a a anime versus Royal Rumble done where we're going to, everyone's going to kind of pick their favorite anime and represent them and kind of battle out to see who's is, who can make the strongest case for why their anime is better than all the other ones. So hopefully we'll do that this weekend and we can kind of have a anime versus match. So I think for me, the, um, the thing I, that I like the most about, um, about Demon Slayer is, I always like it in a story whenever they have um, like an elite group versus an elite group, like you kind of do with the Hashira and the Kiz uh, what is it? Kizuki. Kizuki, yeah. So it's like the best of the best, and it's like, um, like whenever they have their you know their intros and they get into it for the first time, you're like, oh, like this is supposed to be the best of you know this. What can they do? And that's what I like to see. Like whenever there's these opposing forces and it's like the elite versus the elite. And so far we've seen a lot of that go on. So I, that's, that's what drew, drew me to this. And I want to definitely see where that goes. So have you started watching entertainment district? I have seen the first episode so far. Ooh, 
I know. I've been on a lot of art deadlines as of recently, though, so my watching of it has not been the best. And what about you, Corey? I'm watching it with him. Okay. So, oh, and just for reference, this is going to be about the anime, not necessarily the manga, as this is kind of what we're following is the anime. So the manga is obviously ahead of the anime, so this is not going to have anything really to I do with the I won't say manga. anything. Well, good. I appreciate that. And if you haven't seen Demon Slayer, um, spoiler alert, because we're this is about talk Demon about Slayer, it, right? So if you haven't seen it, you may want to go watch it before you listen to this. So continue on. So Corey, who is your, so, so far you said you've seen the first episode of the entertainment district arc. Um, I've watched it up until the most current episode. So, so far, who is your favorite Demon Slayer? Rengoku. Kyojiro Rengoku. And he's dead. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I noticed. So how did that how did that go for you? Feels well, bad. just to ex- like put into words how I was feeling when I watched it, Brandon was like, maybe he's not going to die. We get a few more seconds in. I shut my phone off and throw it on the floor, and I was like, I'm done watching. I'm done. I knew he was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't want to spoil it for him. Right, but he was looking at me like, did he just die? And I was like, I have no, I don't know. <laughs> I also like, I feel like the short time that Rengoku was actually in the show, I feel like they put him off, like they killed him off extremely fast. They did. They he did. went up against I upper know. three. I know, but I feel like they also brought that up really quickly. Don't get me wrong. I love how fast paced it's moving. Like I love, like it's not dragging on. It's just. But if you think about it all the way through the first season you really didn't see the Demon Slayers go at a great loss until Mugen Train when Rengoku had fallen in battle. Look, I don't really mean to seem super, like, douchey, but I would have much <laughs> rather have seen, like, Zenitsu get a hand through the chest before Rengoku. That's really fucked up. <laughs> but seriously, like they had, like Brandon said, they have to, like, up the stakes. And the only way to up the stakes and also to show the power of the upper-ranked demons is by taking out Ahashira, which... And like, but I feel like I'm telling you my whole way through watching the show, every time a demon came up, I was just like, this demon is so strong. What do you mean? That's not one of the 12 Kizuki. How can they get more powerful than that? And then boom, they did it. It was, but like, I feel like it was, was pretty crazy. I feel like it would have been cool though. If like he didn't die and then like, he just has this huge, like kind of like his own like story arc of him. Like I need to get stronger and I need to fight him. Like I need to beat him. But who? A cop. Akaza? Ak- yeah, Akaza. Like, if Rengoku didn't die, that could have been a whole thing. Like, a whole, like, little rivalry they just had. Well, we'll talk about it later, but they kind of did set up for a rivalry. But, I mean, <laughs> we'll we'll talk about that um, later. So, Brandon, who's your favorite Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer in total or Hashira? No, well, your favorite Demon Slayer. Tanjiro. Yeah. Saw that coming. But <laughs> you don't feel like he's just... that's such. It feels like such the obvious choice, though obvious choice yeah he's like the main character that's like saying who's your favorite jedi and you're like luke skywalker well see here's (laughs) my thing though is that um (laughs) when it comes to i feel like nowadays everybody is trying to open their like a personal journey into a villain story so they'll never be for the protagonist and i even feel like i know some people who like uh, when watching naruto would just uh the type of people who are like, I like Sasuke just because of the way he is. And I'm like, you like his emo douchebag attire just because of what? That is he not the only reason anything. I like Sasuke, first of all. That I'm is sorry. not the only reason. It's that is whatever. not. But that's right, we, my we thing. can't battle it out with Naruto just yet. We'll have to I'll see you this, this weekend, weekend at the arena. Dude, <laughs> but gonna... no, that's my point. I don't think Tanjiro is necessarily a... It's not like a, a basic choice to me. I think it's a matter of um, I definitely like what he's doing, and he seems to be the only one who can um, relate to the demons that he has to kill. The rest of them are kind of like, you guys are creatures and that's it, but that's not the case because of right, Nezuko. They were all human at one point, and he kind of sees... The good, and they all, like, it's like every time they die, they have their little redemption moment. Or right, and that's what he likes to give back the to them, Speak. and I appreciate the salvation of it rather than just to desecrate you're just another the carcass and, and be and out of it. But speaking of the whole little, like, clarification thing they have right before they, like, die the rest of the way, 
uh, that demon with like the bunch of arms and everything. That one was sad. He when was like, he was oh, like, I forgot. Oh, I forgot I had a brother. I yeah, was like, I was like oh. me too. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> All right. So, I, of, of course, my favorite Demon Slayer is Inosuke. Just, I don't know. Just, I like the Did beast. that guy just <laughs> stab you? <laughs> He's just. I also do voice impressions. He's so blunt and just so like you know zero to a hundred i don't know i just i enjoy him i love the double swords you know i'm always a fan of dual wielding and i don't know he just he's just very blunt very just all about the action and all about the fight and i i dig that about him i do appreciate inosuke for the fact that the rest of the first off when you met him he wasn't even like a demon slayer he beat somebody up and took their swords you know which is the boss way to do it and so like uh (laughs) I just think it's cool because the rest of the Demon Slayers tend to have, like, an elegant look about them, you know, straight postured, everything's, uh, like, you know what I mean? And then Inosuke is this, like, rough, primal, barbaric (laughs) creature, and I also, I love the art done for the boar mask as well, with, like, the eyes that are pointing two different directions. Right, it just looks crazy the whole time. Because I'm looking at him like, where are you looking through it at? (laughs) Like in the Mugen train? (laughs) Whenever she couldn't catch his gaze, or he That's couldn't catch, yeah. yeah. Whenever he couldn't catch his gaze to put him back to sleep, right? It was a nice touch. It was a nice touch. I love his beast I just, breathing. I, I always love awesome. a side character who thinks he's like the main, <laughs> main the hero. Like his dream. everybody's the hero of their own story. All right. So now we've done Demon Slayer. So who's your favorite demon in total? <laughs> yeah, altogether. Yeah, I can't remember her name. Which one is it? It is uh, the Doctor. Really? Hmm. I love that. Was it Tamio? Tamio? Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't remember that because I play magic. Wink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why is she your favorite demon? Oh, well, I guess. I mean, she counts. She's a demon. But like, why is she your favorite? So did you watch Twilight? Unfortunately. Don't say that. That's terrible. Um, <laughs> you know how... I just, what I really like is her relationship with the boy that she travels with because of the, she had the option to give him the, like he could keep his life uh, even though it'll cost his humanity and she's aware of that and she tries to comfort him through that and ultimately leaves the choice to him. I appreciate her as like who she is and then when it comes down to a fight, I like that she doesn't have to fight to see something done her way. Like uh, when the demon with the tamaris, she's throwing the tamaris around. Mm -hmm. And really all she did was like use her blood to trick her into saying his name. She didn't really, she killed her without having to really lift much of a finger while her and Nezuko are literally like slamming these things back. (laughs) So yeah, I just, I really appreciate her like sense of, being a demon doesn't make me bad. I know that, and I can make it that way for others, too. So she hasn't let being a demon define her. Right. That's what you're saying. Okay. All right. And Corey, your favorite demon? So. It's not Akaza. <laughs> based on first appearance, it was Akaza. And then I saw <laughs> what he did. So him be damned. So I'm going to have to say Nezuko or the, I don't remember the name, but Giyu. Oh, the spider? Yeah. The spider? His name's like Ryui or something, isn't it? Oh, and Giyu the... Giyu is the water hot. Yeah, I know who you... Yeah. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Ryu. um, So why him? Oh, first of all, his powers are just amazing. Yeah, I'm curious why him. The spider webs? (laughs) Yeah, like everything... Like, yeah, he's a douche. But everything about, like, all of his powers and everything. And I love how, like... Was your household abusive as well? Uh, yes. No. (laughs) I just love, like... Maybe it's just the animation, like, from his Blood Demon arts and everything, but it's just, it's cool. I think that was a perfect fight. And the fact that if the Water Hosher didn't show up, he was about to stomp all of them. All right, all right. I mean, he, you know, he failed, but, I mean, it was a good fight. He he was definitely pretty strong, so I can understand that. Uh, all he I wanted was say, family. Huh? I said all he wanted was a family. You're right. <laughs> he was going about it the wrong way. You can't beat your family. <laughs> no, you can you just have to live in the South. So, <laughs> Jeez. so uh, my favorite play um, was that Kaza. Akaza. I don't really care about Rengoku that much, to be honest. Like I'm going to dive across his table. Like I don't, he, I, he was okay and everything, but I just loved that whenever he was fighting him, he was just like, 
he was just complimenting him the whole time. He's like, what an amazing kick. And then he's like fighting him the whole time, like complimenting while like kicking his ass was great. And I don't know. I appreciate that. And I mean, of course he's upper rank three, so he's super strong and everything. And I mean, that's partially why I like him because he's so strong, but also just his whole mentality during, during the entire fight was like, you're so good. You could be better. But if you choose not to, then I'm just going to have to kill you. And he does. Does and, it not worry you that he is so strong, yet there are two more demons who are like technically above him in rank? It doesn't worry me because I'm not a demon slayer, but it should probably <laughs> worry the other demon slayers because, yeah, that's that was pretty crazy. He was he definitely like I I almost and after watching like the entertainment district as far as I have, I actually wonder like um the was it Tengen? Tengen? Tengen. Tengen. I wonder like how Tentai, he would have fared against, you know, against him. Like, would he have done better? Would he have done worse? You know, like, because that's really the first like upper level demon fight we've seen against a Hashira. So it's like, was Rengoku a weaker Hashira or is upper three just that strong? Is well, it going to take two Hashiro to take him down? Or Rengoku says that uh, total concentration constant is uh, like uh, quite a feat. But then you have the insect Hashira who says that that's elementary work. But and that's also just her attitude in general. That is her attitude and that's why I don't like I feel like, like Rengoku might have just been like trying her. to build them up instead of tear them down. He's like, that's incredible. Good job. Well, I mean, he is super or maybe positive. Maybe she's yeah. just he's like being the Mike honest. guy of yeah. of the show. <laughs> I feel like she was just trying to be like, it's not that hard for a demon slayer to do. You're a demon slayer, so just do it. I think she's just lacks tact, is what it is. She's just not very tactful. She's she's still a little too blunt, maybe. But, but you like Inosuke. That's different. <laughs> that's a whole different thing. <laughs> um, all right. So if you guys. If you guys were a demon slayer, what breathing technique would you guys choose of the ones that you know of? Ooh, water. Nope, insect. Insect all the way. Because of the poison? Yes, like the wisteria poison hole, that whole thing to me is so fancy because she's literally, <clears throat> excuse me, every demon slayer is killing them by like uh, cutting them up and dismembering them. And she's like, I really don't need to do that. I just need to kind of tap you with the tip of my sword and let it be. Your whole approach to Demon Slaying seems to be like a minimalist attitude. Like, what's the minimal amount of work? Work I gotta put in to get the, to get the, to get the You're win. You're like the Shikamaru of the Demon Slayers. Oh, man. <laughs> what a <laughs> drag. Well, he's my favorite. So, anyway. Um, okay, so, Corey, what, uh, what breathing technique would you choose? See, I'm in between fire and water. Like, I feel beast like breathing, really? You know, you seem like you would have chose beast, beast breathing. Spatial awareness. <laughs> it's basically just a Byakugan. But like, That's why water breathing seems amazing. And then especially after seeing his fifth form, that just blew my mind. I loved it. He but, has had chills since he saw I Blessed have. Rain after the drought. <laughs> fifth form, Blessed Rain after the drought. I, I would it. choose Thunder Breathing. But as we'll far as I am, yeah. I don't want to only know one <laughs> yeah. form. Well, there's probably other forms of I know, it's just what are they? Is all I've got. And beast breathing is actually like really awesome. I did forget that about it when you asked me the question. But I mean, he did make it up. Yeah. Which I think is cool that you can like define and make your own breathing type as well. Oh, well, he did a good job. He did a good job. So I'm, probably gonna, I'm names, probably going to go with flame. No offense, Inosuke, but like the names of your forms were not Slash. great <laughs> slice and dice <laughs> what but it but it got the job done sometimes <laughs> like when <laughs> more times than not it doesn't get the job done but he's not the main character so that's okay all when right does tanjiro get the job done uh hinokami kagura okay we're gonna talk about that but <laughs> all right so we kind of talked about ringoku so shinobu the um, insect Hashira. Mm -hmm. My opinion is I don't like her attitude. I don't like her. Like whenever she tried to stop um, Giyu from, you know, whenever, you know, from whenever she was trying to kill Nezuko, mm -hmm. I was just like, what a bitch. Like it's her way. I don't, I don't like her way. That's I don't how like all of them. It's her, her job. Way. I don't like her job. I don't like her way. So you don't like demon slayers. I like demon slayers. I think Giyu had it right. I did. Okay. 
my thing is is that oh you think there should be demon no, slayers who are compassionate for she's demons? She's a Sith. Okay, she deals in absolutes. Okay, well, don't they, it's like you're a demon or you're not. But I feel it's like, like there's there's gray areas. That's how all of. But them I feel like the difference between, between, until Nezu because yeah, he met, he met her. Oh, well, maybe they need to get out and meet more people. <laughs> they met Nezuko. They still and didn't trust it. Exactly. They have to see her like no. I don't. I don't lives. like her attitude. She's never going to be one of my favorites. And if the upper one or two kills her, then I'm okay with that. What do you think about this insect bitch, Corey? <laughs> I like her. Like her breathing technique is awesome. I do like when it like I do like the whole sword thing. Like uh how it's just like all like it's basically just a point. Right. Like that's it. I really I really love that. And then like whenever she flew in with all of her butterflies, I'm sick as fuck. No. It's sick. lame. It's sick. lame. Her attitude She's is about as harsh. annoying as the love Hashira. Who Nobody. I can't even imagine who how that Sakura of a character is going to fight. <laughs> like I don't know how she became a Hashira, but I can't wait to find out. How it. are you a love Hashira? Like what are you what, love breathing? Like what technique are you gonna do? I'm gonna just shoot a bunch Massage. of Massage. Love <laughs> breathing. Like I mean, what are you gonna do? Chocolate kisses. Like You're it, talking about the woman with pink and green hair, right? Is she the love one? she has pink hair. I yeah. Think. Mit Mitsur was it? Mitsuri Kenroji. Yeah, she has pink hair and green on the tips. Yeah, like the whole time when they're discussing I have no it, comment. the whole so you, time she's just like, "Oh, they're so great! Oh, he's so great! Oh, he's so great!" So you know something about the manga, then I'm guessing, as well. You have no comment. Yeah, fine, whatever. Hope so, she dies. Real quick, have you seen her fight in the manga? Like, I have no comment. <laughs> okay, because we're not talking about the manga. I know. I'm just curious. Like, how does she fight? How? Can yeah, she like, what does she even done? do? Like, I'm assuming she's fast. I suggest you read the manga. No, I'll just wait for it to come out. <laughs> <laughs> wait for the movie. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys think about Tingin so far? The His drip Tingin? is real. His drip is nice. Do you like him? Um, Upon initial meeting, I liked it. his appearance. Yes. He started talking and I was like, oh. <laughs> and then, but... Because he wants oh, everything I, to be so flashy. I know. I love it. And I'm like, you are so annoying. And But I realize every time I see those three little girls, I just uh, love them more and more. Hentai, hentai, like, hentai. Yeah. Do you know what that means? When he was it's grabbing Japanese them porn. away and they were like, hentai, hentai. It means like anime sex. Oh, yeah. So they were. Oh. that's why he was like, no, that's not what this is. Because it, he's like dragging this little girl away. And the other two are like, hentai, hentai. <laughs> yeah, that was a very mixed. Like, that was a weird little scene. Yeah, there. I don't know that why was, he slapped her on the butt before he like. Yeah, that was very that was a little weird. much. That was a little much. It, he was he's almost like Jiraiya in a way. <laughs> like, Jiraiya. It's just, it's just really weird. I don't know. Um. And so, I guess I won't say too much about the entertainment district, but we finally, like, I've seen him fight for a second so far where they are in the entertainment district, and it was Is just it so flashy? fast. It was just so fast. He did, like, one move, and it was so fast, and it wasn't, it didn't really account, like, it didn't matter much. Was it a breathing technique, though, or was it just, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just did, like, one, like, super fast, like, thing, and... That was that's all I've seen of him actually like fight so far. So I can't really speak on like his you know his tech his sound techniques, but I mean I look forward to seeing what he can actually do. And this next episode coming out should he should have like a real fight. Um whenever they actually face the upper level demon there. So it's okay. She looks cool too. She so far she does seem pretty cool. Um what is it? Uh Daki, she's upper six. Mm -hmm. And she she's pretty cool so far, but I mean, she just, I don't think she can even compare to Akaza like at well, all. She's three six, down. And she shows it. <laughs> she, I believe she shows it. it. But, I, but I, I guess that's what I want to see. Cause I don't she even was think... so close to getting her spot taken, too. She was this close. Like the dude on the train. He's about to get this it. This close. I don't know if he was that close. What? I don't think he was that if close. If Rangoku wasn't there, he would have had it. Like Tanjiro and Inosuke couldn't get through. Like he would have. I feel like he would have taken it. If Zenitsu could just stay asleep and keep using the first form like he did against the spider's little brother, you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, it, you I saw the one time that he did use it, he went through, like, the whole train. So I'm like, why did you go back into your... <laughs> like, what happened? 
I, I mean, we'll see. Well, I, I want to see how well he does, but it's not even a fair comparison because Rengoku fought upper three and he's fighting upper six. So you can't even really compare like how well he's going to do. But I mean, we'll see. I she... hope Akaza shows up and kills Tengen too. And then everybody's <laughs> like, is there anything you can't do? I hope so also. But then, you know, Muzan. I can't with him, I enjoy by him. the way. I like him. Muzan is too much for me. Because I'm like, nothing any of your demons do for you will ever be good enough. You want them to take the Hashira down. He goes and gets one. And you're like, you think that's impressive? What I You did what I asked you to do? And you think that's it's awesome? not what he asked him to do. Kill the boy with the earrings. But He also wanted the, the Hashira gone. One Hashira was not what he wanted. Okay, he wanted first them off, all gone. he is one demon. And he you had know, no where, trouble. But here's my problem. Where's upper one and two? If he wants all of them gone, where's one and two? They're probably out looking for that blue spider lily or whatever he was looking for. I don't give two shits about the spider lily. I want to know what Muzan does. <laughs> like he wants it That's for some very reason. True. Very true. Yeah, he he is a hard a hard guy to please. I enjoy. He's it. a hard guy to please. He's like, does my face look pale? <laughs> but as a supervisor, I can understand his frustration. <laughs> you know, when people come to you with you know wanting praise and all you did was do your job and you didn't even really do the full job. You half asked it. That's terrible. It is terrible for Akaza because he half asked it. But he didn't No, he should have killed all the demon slayers there. I agree. Well, he really How couldn't, could he? He really he should have he, he went he his- straight for Tanjiro. And wasn't fast enough. But see, that's my point. Maybe he needs to train and be faster. Like, Rengoku pretty much had him. Like, he had his arm through the chest and he was grabbing his wrist. He's like, I'm not letting you go. I was mad. I want to learn that trick, too. How you use your inner wounds to hold and clinch down on somebody. That would have been a cool, like, death for death, you know? He's like, I won't let go. It's a lot of crunches. It's core strength. I thought it was like flex the abs. You're like, nope. First, (laughs) it's all core strength. I was very surprised that he got away. And you know how like he had the sword like some of the way through the neck. Mm -hmm. If Zenny two was there, man, just zap up, just like clump. And I'm like, if Inosuke moved like way before being told to, because like he could fight the whole time. I understand that they were moving so fast, it would have been like impossible for him to jump in. Right. But once he had him like that, you should have done been moving. I would have been. Oh well, Rengoku's dead. It's all it is now. That's all it is. So, question. So, say Akaza was fighting Giyu, do you think that he would have had a better chance because of his eleventh form? Because like when like he used it against the spider dude, all the spiders were just like, or all the webs were just like, did, like breaking as soon as they got close enough. I mean, who knows? Because that was a lower level demon too. But still, it's like he didn't even like lift a finger. But it was a lower level. And I'm that. That's what I'm at. Like I I'm don't just, know. I mean that we haven't. That's the thing. We haven't seen enough of the Hashiras fight. Like we've seen, like okay, that everything against the lower, de- you know, the spider demons, that was all kind of like warm up, you know. Like they really didn't have to put forth a lot of effort to get that done. So the first time they fight an upper level demon, you know, Rengoku fails, and now they're about to fight another upper rank demon. So I just don't think there's enough sample size to say like you know how he would have done. I get you, but I'm excited to see. All right, so. What Hashira are you guys most looking forward to seeing in action serpent. besides the two that we've seen? I, that's what I was going to say. I just want to see what his techniques are. Him or the wind? Because I feel like the wind talks a lot of shit. The asshole? And, yeah. Uh, yes. Like he, so those are the two. Like the wind one, he does talk like he, he talks a lot of he shit. He needs to be able to back it up. But it's, it's so great. Like I love his attitude. And then the serpent one because, you know, I'm an Orochimaru fan. I want to see what it. he can do. I like what it. techniques do you use <laughs> that are serpent-like? <laughs> right. So... I'm definitely with you. Those two are the two I can't wait to see fight. And the love, just I'm curious. What she can do. Yeah, I'm just curious. If she can do anything. <laughs> what about you? She made it further than Rengoku. So. <laughs> oh, that's, that's true. true. Ooh, got that's my true. blood fire. Um, I would say, I can't even remember his name at the moment. Which one is it? He's this one, you know. He's the always- Earth? He's doing like the hands together. Okay, and the, you're talking about the one that's like always crying. Yes, <laughs> the crybaby. I right? really appreciate his might guy attitude. <laughs> He's he, just no, so, Rengoku was my guy. Yeah, but I mean, like, my eternal you know how like uh, Rock God. Lee was like, "I'm so sorry, guy Sensei." Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I pictured from him because he's like, "This poor boy thinks he could turn his sister human again. We should kill them both before they have to suffer anymore." So it's guy. Was it guy? Guy me? Guy me? 
G Y O M E I. I'm not sure how to say that. He's the Stone Hashira. Yeah. I I want to see what he can do because he's a Stone Hashira, and I want to see what that tra- like all of their their things. I want to see how that translates into like techniques in battle. So I think that that could be pretty cool. But um, the fact that he's crying all the time, I'm just like, eh. like man up, like you're this big ass dude, man up. That has nothing to do with his feelings. Maybe it does. <laughs> maybe it doesn't. We'll see. We will see. All right, so what do you guys think about the master? I think there's something going. I don't know. He seems a little. What is this? Are you too far for me? Am the I master? What? No, yeah, the leader of the Hashira. Yeah, the leader I don't of the trust Hashira. Him. Oh, I don't trust him. Like, I think it's. I that's what I say. Like, there's something about him that isn't. You want to on... go on with your theory? I lo- I yeah, I do have a theory. What's the theory? Okay, so my theory, right? Is that, uh, and I swear, I have I have no clue how this is going to play out. I have not seen anything to necessarily make me think this. It's just my theory. Okay. So there's no spoilers <laughs> whatsoever. But uh, do you remember in Mugen Train when uh, they killed the train demon? Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like going down the list of people and he got to Nezuko and he's like, I don't understand why Master Muzan allows her to live. Right. And I, it got me thinking. I was like, it, that doesn't make sense that she's killing other demons and he's not stopping her. So my idea is that um, he actually isn't the one who killed Tanjiro's family and turned her into a demon. I think that the Master is related to Muzan Kibutsuji and just does things more like Tamio does, you know? Instead of being like, I'm a demon and I'm a ruler for everything. He wants to think they can coexist. And so, he killed Tanjiro's family and turned Nezuko into a demon to try and get the rest of the Hashira to eventually believe. Like, it, to show them an example, you know? And that's why... Because, does his forehead not look like he's been hit with wisteria poison? I mean, it's it's very strange. The only thing I would say to that theory is, one, we've seen the Master in daylight. Right. And two... Crap, what was the other one? But he's not actually in the daylight, though. He's behind his little shed thing. No, we've seen him walk. Yeah. In the trees? I don't know. He was looking at, like, a waterfall whenever, like, the uh, the bird flew away. And he was like, oh, that's what Tanjiro said? Whenever, like, Rengoku fell. I think we should all go back and see if there's any point where he's actually directly in the yes. sun or just <laughs> always in the shade. In the, okay. All right, so there's your theory on the master. What about you, Corey? I just think something's up. I don't have a theory for what. I just think, like, the burns or whatever on his forehead. And then, I don't... I like, there's more to it than yeah. he's just, like, this noble master of the Hashira and yeah. probably a former Hashira himself and all that stuff. I don't there's know. Just all the former Hashira I've met are drunk and bitter. Or dead. Yeah. That's how they became ex-Hashira. <laughs> no, not true. Because uh, there's Goku's dad. two yeah, Hashira, they're a former Hashira that are in the show. Right, that's what I was saying. Drunk and oh, bitter. right, right, right. No, the guy that taught Tanjiro. You don't think he's bitter? I don't think so. I think he's a nice guy. He's literally been giving all these kids masks so he could send them in with a target on their back he for the final know. selection. He didn't know that. He you don't think he that. knew? He didn't know that. No, he probably just thought all of his students Tanjiro failed. came back and he was like, damn it. <laughs> he didn't know that. Like one got out. No, I agree. There's just something up with the master. I, there's more to it than just than just him being this noble leader, I think, for sure. I just think it's awfully weird how he, you know, if he's leading the Demon Slayer or whatever, the master of them, and he is like one of the first people when they see Tanjiro and Nezuko to accept the fact that she's a demon. Well, and I mean, he wants that's to make the, her a Demon Slayer. So I'm like, but that's you have an of awful lot master, of empathy. Though. Right. Like the master always sees things from a, you know, a different perspective. That's but how what makes can you the see master. it from that perspective without being there? To like witness uh, the other side. I don't think you, I don't think demon. you necessarily have to see it. To, He's a demon. Uh, I mean, we'll see. I guess we'll see. Mark like, what do you think? Words. You think it'd be like go back and watch it? You'll see him in the trees, just like watching them go. No, but I feel <laughs> like it, when you go back and see any scenes of him, he I I want to believe if I went back and watched it now, like even when he's walking and stuff, he would never be like directly in sunlight. We'll watch it and we'll see. I'll have to. I'm gonna go back. We'll see what he can really do. All right, so. That brings us to 
Tandro and his son breathing. Yes. He's amazing. And not to spoil too much for you, Corey, <laughs> without trying to spoil this, but basically, I don't know if you've seen that part, but um, all the, yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you watched the, the um, Rengoku talk yeah. about it. Yeah. So all the um, techniques are like, Derivatives they come from it. the sun breathing and stuff. So it, they're really setting Tanjiro up to be like this master. Yeah. Like this. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they're giving him too much and they're just, they're setting him up to be like just this incredible badass. I don't know. It's just very Luke Skywalker of it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I thought you liked Star Wars. I do. And it's just very, but it, so why are you? Cause I don't like Tanjiro. Why? I don't dislike him. I'm, they're just, I don't know. I mean, I think the sun breathing is cool. And I think it's cool to maybe have like this war, this one, like overarching form that, you know, that all the forms come from. I just, I hope he has a really tough time learning and mastering it don't give it to him just don't make him like a mary sue like don't just give hand it to him and be like hey now you know this sun breathing go kick all the ass in the world well, i like, don't want that either he's already having trouble using the only right he can only he use a, like he can barely use the one he was like, dance that he knows he was like i can't move my body how i want to when i use it i'm not good enough for it yet and on right. top of that really i what i feel like is that uh, him being able to do sun breathing, I don't think that'll come up till like uh, way closer to the end. But it does, like, uh, it helps me understand that I think Tanjiro is, since he can do sun breathing, he's capable of doing any of the forms under it. But you did hear, like, they said that um, he, whenever Tanjiro, he was like, water breathing doesn't, like, react like I want it to. Like, almost like that's not his... True chakra nature. alignment right. you know that's not like his right and i think that that's cool that like he's learned water breathing from uh Yuroka, Yurokadaki, but it's not his like you know he learned it because he can but it's not what he was meant to use and i think that that side of it's cool right but i just hope that they don't just make him like this overpowered like i've got sun breathing now and i can do anything because you know he's going to use sun breathing to kill all the demons and i don't know he, he it just better be a struggle is all i'm saying see and wouldn't that be amazing that's why i don't understand dragon ball z because that's like that's everything i feel like that's all that show ever was was goku going Hurrah! and then charging up to a new form time and time, time again we saiyans have exceeded our limits vegeta speech and i'm like how many times the gods i just i couldn't with that show i'm sorry everyone yeah well, I don't. not many people can all right, so um, so that's sun breathing. So the question is: is now that we're in the entertainment district, will Tingen beat Daki the Upper Six? Yes. No. Yes. No. Well, why? Comment. Not? <laughs> why? Are you talking about manga? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> You've seen it. No, no, I haven't. Do he you died. know? Okay, do you know who wins the fight? No. Do you really not know? Do you promise? He knows. Yeah, he knows. I'm not going to promise you anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you think, Corey? I did. <laughs> I did. No, I'm sorry. I think it'd be too much to kill two Hashira off in their very first fights. Like, Why? yeah, they are the upper... There's like six of them. There's now. But it was like, because <laughs> they're the upper six demons, yeah. But if you drop a Hashira every time they come in contact with any of the six... It kind of waters down yeah, when it like, needs to be a Hashira. Like, the Hashira is your shit. Like the ha like the name well, Hashira just doesn't amount to anything if they lose every fight they're in. I understand what you mean. Why are you even talking about this? You already know. Get out. I understand <laughs> what you mean, but my thing about the upper six demons is that each one that's there has been there for hundreds of years without someone being able to take their place. And but that's I why agree I'm like with Corey. But that's my problem is like Akaza is completely correct because a human body does not have the time that these demons do to be that strong. So, like, are you really surprised? So it's a lost cause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like it is. Even if they don't have the time, like Akaza said, Rengoku almost won. And that was... But didn't. But that was still up against, uh, like, the upper three. I feel like upper six, I feel like the hot, like... 
Who's to say that Tengen is stronger than Rengoku, though? Like, we don't know. What if know. he's not? We don't know, but we know that this other, like, this lower, or the upper six is not as strong as Akaza. That's true. Like, we know that for a fact. Right. That is true. So, like, we know nothing about this, about, what's his name? Tengen? Yeah. We don't know anything about Tengen yet, but we know that she is weaker than Akaza. So I feel like that, in its stand, like, I feel like that at least makes a point that Tengen's gonna win. Or at least he's gonna... He has a shot. Yeah. He has a decent shot. Okay. I mean... We'll see here in the next couple weeks. <laughs> yes, we will. Yes, we will. Maybe we'll be another Hashira down. <laughs> I hope not. But yeah, at least it's not one of the Hashira that like I care about because like, I don't really care about him that much. It's just like if they're going to drop a Hashira every time they fight in like one of the upper six, and I feel like it's just a story about Tanjiro building up. Exactly. It's just like let's just love love Tanjiro because he's the only one that can do it. And I don't want that either. I don't want that. So, and I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them getting rid of the lower six that quick. Cause you know, I feel they like didn't. That, he did, but I'm just, <laughs> but I mean, the show got rid of him though. The main guy, I feel like that that could have just been so much more, you know, I mean, story does, there. It could have been it, more, but so I think I understand where they're coming from when like uh, doing a lot of the same of more, could tire the viewers out before the But we end. only saw one lower level demon we fight. Saw two. The Hambone plus But he was spider. X. He wasn't even yeah, one but, anymore. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I right. But so we saw Ryu and then we saw the train. Right. But I mean, yeah. Okay. So we saw two, but I don't know. I just felt like we breezed through lower demons too quick. I mean, did you see the other four though? Like Yeah, they looked pretty pathetic. Right, like one one of them even got up and like ran. Which is crazy because I can't believe that they are any stronger than uh, Yahaba, the the arrow guy, Mm -hmm. and then the the chick with the balls. The Tamaris. Yeah, I don't think, like they didn't look to be any stronger than them. Right, and they were handling. Right, so I'm just like, maybe we breathed through that too too quick, but... But I'm also like... uh, what would they have done even had all six of them decided to stand up and go, well, fuck you, Muzan. I don't give a shit. Like, uh, they wouldn't have done nothing. <laughs> well, that would have been even like, cooler than how. Like, I feel like it was cool how it happened, but if they all stood up for themselves, I feel like it would have been cool to actually see like what Muzan can do. But did you see what Muzan did to Upper Three? Like, he just like pointed at him and like sent a shockwave of like destruction. And he was like bleeding. He was, right. Like, He's like internal Love his new damage. form, by the way. I the love that like... Uh, like uh, when Tanjiro figured out like Roger. his uh, hiding situation, right. <laughs> he uh, just decided to change form, and now he's like walking around as. But this Tanjiro boy. has his scent, right? And that's what he'll never be able to escape. From. Oh, he is, you just blew my theory out of the water. Oh, that Tanjiro can sense demons. Tanjiro can had his them. scent from the house anyway, so he was right. there. Yeah. Ha. Well, you're done. Yeah, because there's no way. Because, like, if it were the case, he would have been able to catch Muzan's scent off of uh, what I thought would be his relative. Right. Unless he's hiding it I'm in that saying. wisteria forehead. <laughs> Muzan is literally Roger Smith. I stand by that. <laughs> he's like, oh, new persona. He has a whole backstory and everything. Yeah, the kid's sick. He can't go out in the sunlight. <laughs> and that's crazy is that he has this whole backstory yeah. for it. It's like, like... He was ready. Right, like, his first form, he had a wife, right. like a human wife and a daughter. Yeah, he is Roger Smith. That's That's... That's real. And like they can't tell. And I'm like, you can't look at him and just know that something's wrong. Somebody, a relative probably said that. And then he kicked him through the ceiling. And he's like, do I look pale to you? Do I look like I don't belong? <laughs> All right. So, but it's Michael Jackson. For our last point for <laughs> Demon Slayer, let's talk about what is your most looked forward to moment. So for me, I'm going to have to say it's when Akaza and Tanjiro meet again. Cause, That's what I was going to say. Because Akaza was like, I remember here, your face. You little shit. Like, <laughs> I wasn't running from you. And then he's like, nah, I know your face now. I know what you look like. And boy. I cannot wait for that fight because I think that's going to be pretty amazing. I hope it's 1v1. And I hope Tanjiro gets his ass kicked. I hope he doesn't die. But I hope he realizes that he's not ready for Akaza. I mean, obviously, he's probably going to kill Akaza or Inosuke will because Inosuke is awesome. But I hope that that fight I is think like pretty epic. Inosuke would die if he were in Inosuke any fight almost with got his throat crushed. 
Right now, yes, but they're all leveling up. They're all training. But that's the problem is he has to make his own form from scratch. The rest of them can kind of like pick up on something someone else has already taught. So maybe Inosuke's great great grandkids might no, kill. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. All right. So what's your guys' most look forward to moment? That for, is it. Yeah. It's, that, it's the Kaza Tandra, Tandra. Is that for you too? Yeah. But I or also is any two learning another form. I want to see Nezuko and Muzan come face to face just oh. to see if he's like what his reaction you were is. not supposed to come out of that house alive. Right. And then if so, I want to know like how much of his blood he gave her to see like the inner strength of Nezuko because like any regular person would fall apart like that chick did in the alleyway. Right. But Nezuko like, I don't think he intended on her surviving that whole situation. Right. So I assume the fact that she was just able to take demon form and then not only take the demon form, but like mere hours after doing so is capable of stopping herself from attacking a human. I also am excited. Like, if Tandro isn't the next one to see Akaza, I'm just excited for one of the Hashirasu. Just like, just hear the conversation they're going to have. Like a revenge type thing? Yeah. Like, because you killed Rengoku? Yeah. I suppose, like, uh, which... I think it was the serpent Hashiro. Whenever he found out, he was like, I won't believe it. And then I was like... Ugh. I and do then, like him. And then it was... Tengen? Mm -hmm. That was just like... Uh, he was like a demon even Rengoku couldn't kill. And then, Which kind of makes it seem like Rengoku was a badass, but... I but mean, I mean, then you have the insect Hashiro. Because she heard and mm -hmm. she was just like... I was like, okay. okay. Well, that happened. She's like, he's dead. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, well, that like, definitely will be. concentration wasn't that great. That'll definitely be pretty awesome whenever that finally does happen. All right. So, yeah, so far, I think Demon Slayer's turned out to be pretty good. It's definitely a lot of fun. I'm having a good time watching it. All right. So, do you guys have any closing points you want to make? Closing points? Yeah, just about, in general, about Demon Slayer. Anything? Um, definitely best anime of 2020 for a reason. Like, they definitely deserve that. 2021. 2021, I'm sorry. It's 2022 now. It is. New year. New year. <laughs> Corey, you got anything? Yeah, I would just like to hit that rewind button back to the Spider family. Mm -hmm. And just two things I want to talk about. One, that fifth form. Beautiful. Love every bit of it. <laughs> of course. And then whenever... uh Nezuko and Tanjiro went to like blow off the dude's head, but then he was like, he cut his own head off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Giyu just came up, like the elegance of him cutting off the head, like he was just like behind him and then he was just like walking away as like the head slid off. It was just beautiful. I love it. Again, it was a lower level demon, so. I'm just saying, it still looked nice. It did look nice. Blessed rain. The storm. <laughs> <laughs> Drought. All right. So, Brandon, again, you want to tell them where they can find your work at? Yeah, uh, Phantom Arts One Two Two on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, you know, that's if anybody wants any art done or anything, hit me up on any of that. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. We put Demon Slayer in the scope, and uh, make sure you come by this weekend whenever we do our battle royale for. Uh, for our anime, you've heard a couple shots fired so far tonight, so it's going to be all out. It probably should get pretty crazy because people are pretty passionate about their anime of choice. So I think so far, I think it's going to look like it's going to be a triple threat match between Demon Slayer, Naruto, and One Piece, if you can believe that. <laughs> so uh, definitely got a One Piece fan, so we'll definitely see how that goes. But thanks for stopping by, and be sure to catch us wherever you listen to your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and drop by our Facebook page in the scope. All right, we'll catch you next time.